Hello and welcome to day two of our Millennia Tall Build campaign as Germany. Things are finally starting to pop off now that we're in, I believe, age six. And our cities are overtaking the computer at this point. We've grown super high, super big, and we're fulfilling pretty much all of the basic needs of all of our cities right now. It's been pretty nice. We are in a constant state of are we going to war with Brazil or not? which is the scary half of this game. But our tech has also started exploding right now to the point that I think we can just beat them in combat if it comes down to it. We can certainly outproduce their armies. Yeah, here we have perfect example where they're coming at us with 220s, 201s, 185s. But we've got a juicy 260 stack with knights, dragoons. Crossbowmen need to get upgraded probably into riflemen. Uh, but clearly, I'm also working on the standing army right now, so. We, let's see. Dusseldorf, we just recently picked up great artists, great masters uh, for our next National Spirits. We have just entered the Age of Enlightenment. And it looks like we're picking up standing army. Yes, so we can upgrade to grenadiers and cavalry. That is correct. We're dropping a little on sanitation in all of our towns, but that should start to get sorted. The tall build with like 10 cities. It's not 10 cities. We've got one, two, three, four, five cities. And then a handful of vassal states. Essen is our most recent city. The idea is that we have Dusseldorf as our capital and that we just have a ring of satellite cities around it. Stuttgart isn't yet a city. And I don't really know how to put a city in here other than burning down the whole forest. So it might just be that we pick up Hamburg or Cologne instead. Though at the moment, I kind of like Cologne being a, um, a vassal state. Just to give us a little buffer. Just a little buffer. Propaganda lies. Once I can accord the game, I'm going full transfer. One city, 200, 500 tiles. City state, no city, planet. There are some things you can do for like super big builds. Um, certainly in age six, I think we saw one of the uh, uh, national spirits was focused on having one super city. I'd like to try it at some point in time. This explorer, I believe, was just pushing north. I'm assuming these dragoons are coming down to join the rest of the army. Aha! And we can upgrade our pikemen into muskets. 2839s. Not our crossbowmen, though. Wow, those muskets are significantly better. What are they good against? Cavalry, weirdly enough. 28, 39. The Dragoons are slightly better for anti-cavalry. I think that's fine for right now. I'm going to leave them be, leave them in peace. Actually, probably just move them. into Weissbaden for defense. Uh, we have a couple of merchants who are heading up to set up in Chicago and Pittsburgh to try and make us some money. And then our other places are just starting to grow. These guys are running a little low on food, so let's get them a granary in the city of Essen. Roma can upgrade to a poor house. Clearly need a plantation out here. Or the upgraded version of a plantation. Large plantation. I have this burial mound up here that I wouldn't mind replacing with tea. 
but I don't think it is yet the time. We were trying to finish all of our all of our woodcutters here, and we need to upgrade Dresden into a lumber town, which should give us some nice bonuses. Rostock will also probably become a lumber town. Just because we can. And you guys are saving a little bit of money. Dusseldorf. Uh, you're going to grab the waterworks for that upgraded sanitation. Now that we have access to that. You're going to shoot some barbos. And our vassals continue to grow. Like Coruscant. Trick to using claim territory and outposts to space your towns out really far. That lets you collect way more tiles due to expansion mechanics. Yeah, absolutely. I believe that. I think if you waited for the first growth and then did a claim town, you could grow really, really big. Luddites. There's been a growing backlash against the rapid development of tech in Germany. That makes sense. And some anger has recently directed at books and printers for ruining the minds of the current generation. Yeah, let's just pay that out. This is why we're sitting on extra money. Region is idle. Cultural power is available. We were attacked by barbarians. Up in our castle. Uh, and Essen is still trying to have a rebellion. This was the big thing that we left off on yesterday. Where I could have sworn I moved two city guards... into the city and I'm seeing now that I have not how many turns four turns all right we should be okay once those city guards show up 15 unrest these guys do 12 unrest suppression A minor setback. We have enough to pick up extra luxury and wealth or culture and arts. We're going to want both of these. Let's go for luxury and wealth right now. Let them eat cake. And I believe there was some talk. about prospecting in them there are hills for bonus trade posts these guys can keep exploring these guys have come down to join up here lots of great good new units you guys will carry on America's wandering around with like catapults pikes and dragoons You guys have all your cities. Essen has one extra city. It does not have its second city yet. Ah, uh, It is hard to say where the spot to actually build it is, though. I would normally say up here. It doesn't look like this state is actually growing into these other provinces. Really hard to say for certain. Buddhism is also sneaking into our territory. We have some pretty good innovation coming. We could shut down the chaos gain per turn but I think also once we get rid of the unrest that'll solve most of it you know what I might just do local reforms but I should probably do a town so I'm gonna build one here Zhuang. 200% on everything let's upgrade to knowledge I love seeing our cities growing so well. What is the town camp? Can you get seven or just five? 
You know, it's just occurred to me, I think we increased our town cap, didn't we? No, public sphere will increase our town cap. You're going to stay here. You're going to make more city guards. Ah, here we go. Museum creates four education and increases the region level. That explorer is going to keep exploring. Those guys are going to keep moving. Roma is going to build. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I guess let's go with a lifting tower for now. Public schools create education. Well, that would probably make sense to make outside of the old Dusseldorf. Public school on the edge of town. <laughs> At some point, we're going to have to start, like, swapping stuff out, I feel like. You're making four iron ingots. You could use another blast furnace. As well. Just going to make crazy production values here. Absolutely busted. Toddy, good afternoon. Haven't seen a town cap increase yet. Only town level cap. But I'm only in the renaissance. You should have hit a few throughout. There's one that lets you, like, because originally you only start with one town, and there is, like, an early town cap. I want to say... Here? Infrastructure in the Age of Iron. Age of Iron Blood Heroes. Uh, there is an increased number of town here. So they're tucked away. You just got to go find them. Diplo, Diplo, Diplo. What are we doing with all these Diplo points? The United States hate us. Why? Settlement's too close. Diplomatic opinion towards Germany, minus 50. Scent treasure. Looks like our scent treasure had worn off. Somehow, it feels like my Diplo penalties have become even worse. Hundred and sixty in settlements too close. I don't even have an envoy open with the Greeks, so I'm going to do that. Or at least make an attempt to do that. I think probably this city upset them. Which, uh, you know, I can't really blame them. Infrastructure and feudalism adds towns that put you at three. I thought it started at two. Yeah, no, it's actually, it only starts at one. Uh, I do worry if the U.S. decide to hate me. What is that going to do to my poor merchants? All right, Essence at 104. I can reduce unrest next turn. I'm going to expand this town and I'm going to start putting in a bunch of logging camps around it.
And then we can start building like printing presses and a saw pit up here as well. The steady expansion. Ah, barbarian camp. Let's get the museum going here. So that we can get that education. Zhuo Zhang, um, you're starting to drop on sanitary. So let's get the waterworks. Streamer has three towns now and health four with the tech in this age. This is age six. Maybe by end game you get to five. Germany does historically have a bad time if the U.S. wakes up. Hopefully they stay napping. I appear to be stuck here because it won't move those dragoons. I guess we'll wait and see. We're going to stop that rebellion dead in its tracks. I'm going to send this explorer probably to his death. I could take... My other army here. You know what? We're going to retire you. We're going to promote you. I'm going to hunt down these Brazilians in the forest. They've managed to, America's managed to take back Bangalore because I've created a choke point here that they can't breach. I ought to probably just do this. Now they actually can't get through. Medium damage, medium damage. I'm curious. What's interesting is that they can't flee. You guys are doing fine on unrest. Uh, but we might as well upgrade both of you. I have the funds to do this. The warfare funds, that is. Yeah, these guys actually needed an upgrade. Shockingly, they're just holding in there. Diplo UI is weak. Fastest way to boost relations is send envoys for 50 plus, but even that expires. Can you send additional envoys? For real? God, I did not know that. That's a game changer. Got a group of three, 330 muskets here. This guy's going to heal up another turn. These guys are starting to heal up. Once I bring in the muskets, it'll be a different story, though. Hey, this envoy is still alive.
Didn't work a second time. <laughs> Sad to report that the Envoy spam does not stack. Uh, this merchant is totally stuck. I can't do anything about him. He is just blocking the entire American system here. I could maybe eject that merchant. There we go. And then put him in. There we go. That'll work. Uh, and then you're going to go out this way. And then up. You're going to have to go up and around. <laughs> what a backwards way. Noroth, hello. Good morning. More ones after the 50 expires. I'm not sure if it stacks. Honestly, just that 50 alone is a pretty good jump. I'm going to reject that with Grease. Because I feel like that's going to be worse for me. <sighs> Standing army has increased our army size and given us brand new troops. The Grenadier and the Corasseur. All right, I think we wanted public sphere here for that extra town. We could build reason. I'm going to go with that extra town right now. I feel like that's what I have to do. Knight upgrade. Grenadier upgrade. This is still just a bunch of musket men. So close. All right, boys, finish him off. Here we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't have a force march for you. Let's reinforce them just in case, because they're going to get attacked again. They will most certainly get attacked there. And then we got some upgrades to build. Let's build another castle town in here. Stuttgart is still a vassal. 127 to integrate. Bakery is super good of an improvement. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all anytime you can improve the industry, it just gets better and better. And we are typically swimming in improvement points. All right, you guys are all 200. You guys still somehow need sanitation. 18, 29, 23... These guys are so desperate for room to grow. I'm going to have to build the town here just so I can get access to more shrubland and grassland to grow in. Or here? No, but that's only really one slot. Dusseldorf, uh, I don't know where I'm going to put you. Step by step. Step by step, baby. I suppose like I could just absorb a castle. I don't know what would happen to things like all of these little castle towns, but... Dude, Roma is working all of these sea tiles. Even though I don't have fish on them. There's <laughs> so much stuff we need to build. Perpetually. It's just the state I live in of just so much stuff I need to build. All right, you guys are going to go that way. I'm going to eject this merchant out of Houston and see if I can path him along, get him up to uh, Pittsburgh. Got in a doomed run for your hoplite. That's to say a unit where they're basically super spears. 
Oh, an innovation for your Hopolite. Ooh, I, the innovations are huge. Like, I love how much they can completely change the game. It feels crazy powerful. Uh, we might as well grab the Atelier Studio here. Seeing as we have everything else that city needs. The cities are basically all about, like, do I have 200% in everything? Yes. If so, then, like, tech and then other stuff. Also realizing I am not importing books. Everything is so funny. Some of my production chains just feel like they don't make any sense. All right, basically everybody is at 100 except the deuce. And that's only because I can't seem to keep up on sanitation. Is that because I only have a single trash heap? Could be. Could very well be the reason why. Let's look into that further. Short Sword, Hoplite, and a few other ahead of time unit innovations can be pretty strong. Yeah. More powerful than basic units. Yeah, yeah. There's a couple of the units that are just like, like Naganadas are slightly better than Spears, but they do the same job. And then if you can get innovations for them, obviously they get even stronger. Delicious. Who would have known my guns would be so effective? Not I. Ah, we're stuck here again. All right, whatever. We'll go this way then. This is the way you want to play it. We'll go the long way around. I'm gonna try to get that second trash heap up and running. Cost a lot of production. I could do spares in two turns. Hoplites take 12. Wow. But do you have like a um a power that allows you to like get hoplites for free? That's the big question I would ask. All right. Uh, why don't we combine some of these armies in here? Because we're getting some like interesting units now. 2232 on a Grenadier. Oh, the muskets are just flat out better than Grenadiers in every way, shape or form. 2.5 versus line. Ah, two versus cavalry. Okay, I see the difference. Thirty-four, twenty-four, thirty-four, twenty-eight, thirty-nine. All right, the dragoons are like close. Here we go. Here's a real army that I can use to go poaching. Uh, and then these guys. I can maybe send them after these dweebs. Run away from barbarians. Towns. Do we have any more towns? Not really. The revolution has stopped in all my locations. Okay, Dusseldorf has gone up to 199 sanitation here, so I don't know what happened, but I guess 
Maybe they just needed more population to work the trash heaps. At this point, that's my best guess. I wonder if I shouldn't maybe like burn down these forests next to Dusseldorf. I just need so much engineering to clear cut. This dude has grown a little bit. We're gonna make you a lumber town. You're also a lumber town. Didn't think this through, did I? Everybody's a lumber town. <laughs> uh, sawmill is what these dudes need. And then a paper mill up here is what they will need. So Essen is going to get a massive productivity boost. Wow. Dusseldorf continues to grow and picks up olives. I'll buy millennia. The pressure in this chat is immense. Everyone is just trying to prod you and poke you towards getting it. The people of Germany are voracious in their education and constantly seek out new research to evolve their business, home life, and philosophical thinking. Two times education need for population or 900 bucks. Yeah, I'll just take 900 bucks. Thank you very much. Not seeing a great reason to pay out the nose there otherwise. Everybody's venturing on... Dusseldorf is maxed. It's got all of its stuff. <gasps> Do we want to make balloons? I think that's an obvious answer. So, great question. We could go into the steampunk age of Aether if we just made five recon balloons. And I think we might do that because I could do that in five turns. That kind of seems like the right stupid decision to make. All right, so USA is at 50. That's wish treasure sent. Trade. Established relations. Enemies with Brazil. I could improve relations. I could also send them a gift for another 10. So we'll try that out. Empty go, Mike. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the agency. These dudes are 200, 200. Plaza would get them some arts. Stores would get them more production, which is probably more valuable seeing as they are my growing city. Dusseldorf is up to 30 in size. Big Dusseldorf. I think the Aether Age is a fun choice. Early Impressionism. The artists from Germany push boundaries with their new artistic movements. The great works created by the nation's masters are far more impressive than any others in the world. <laughs> Plus bonus culture from artworks and masterpiece. So this is like an extra seven culture a turn. Once it ticks in. That's going to be big. Uh... Can balloons be like attacked by land units? Plus two sight range, minus 29 movement. Oh, interesting. The answer to that is kind of no. I mean, sorry, they can be attacked, but they might be different once they're flying. I'm not sure. I ain't certain how this works.
All right, Brazil's a lost cause. I'm just going to put all my buckets in with America right now and see if we can boost them up some more. 160. We could get that peaceful revolution. That would just get us a nice innovation boost. So I think I'm going to do that. They're basically just for vision. Yeah. Uh, which is nice because I can like put them all around my empire. And they do have really good movement range. This army is healed at last. I'm really starting to put the pressure on these uh, Brazilians now that my armies uh, have out-teched them. I'm not sure I can get around these mountains. I'd like to get over here. So that might mean this explorer just takes some fights. But I'd be okay with that. You want to build paper mills and a printing press. And then you want another logging camp. Who has logs to spare? You're making books, which is kind of nice. Oh, you have to decide where you're going to send it. Dusseldorf? They're importing books and then sending them to Dusseldorf. Oh, no, they're making books in the printing press as well. Okay. Tea. We need, like, tea houses. Cloth and paper. They need to spend that iron. These guys need bread, a bakery. Roma right now has extra logs. I don't think Roma has any room to build anything is its problem though. Yeah, it needs to like expand into shrubland to actually get territory. I think we can probably go up through Los Angeles here. Maybe. We're just down and around through Arlington. Uh, here we will go with Coliseum. Eh. It's the Grand Theater. All the extra art is really valuable to me right now. Because we can make extra artists who give us super, super artwork now. I think we're going to go Aether, yeah. I don't know what the Aether mode is. I, I just know it looks very steampunk. It feels like it wouldn't make sense. So if I was to put you like here and then deploy... Doesn't give you that much vision. To be honest, I thought I'd get more. You're going to go hunting in the jungles. Simply because we can. You guys are 219, 262. So you probably need a few more troops. Which Munich could certainly provide. Munich could also just start upgrading things instead of just focusing on tech, which I didn't realize it was doing. Police departments. We'll have this balloon come down to Cologne. 
Or actually, let's have that balloon go to the outpost. Our explorer is good enough that he can just fight barbarians and then heal up as required. Oh my god, America, why are you making it so difficult for me to give you trade? Honest to god. You're blocking both the road and the desert. <gasps> Public sphere. So we have extra towns. We have bakeries, improved bakeries. And it, police departments. National Landmark gives us big border growth. Central Bank gives us money. Mercantilism turns ingots into production, which is kind of cool. It also gives us NG XP. Knowledge, public libraries, coffee houses for the teas. I think we were going to do society. It also gets us diplomacy XP, which is kind of nice. Speaking of diplomacy. Like. Maybe I should just start putting merchants in all of his towns. At this point, I'm kind of thinking, why not? Uh, these guys need more logging camps. Making cloth, making lumber. I have two olives. I also have two wheat here. I think I'm going to take that wheat. Where are they getting wheat from? Here? Cloud farm. So I think we're going to take that wheat and we're going to turn that into... Flour. And I think what I'm going to end up doing here is I'm going to export that flower to another city. Because if I could build a bakery somewhere... Which I could do if I clear cut say this send that flower to Munich and now Munich actually needs to import one extra sack of flour Which it doesn't appear to be able to do. So it's not making the maximum amount of bread it would like. Perhaps we can upgrade this building to make more flour. But it's making a crazy amount of food. Not that I have food problems anywhere, but... You know, just in case we need it later, maybe? I really want to give the game a try, but the negative comments about the AI being crazy is quite off-putting. I mean, diplomacy on higher difficulties is definitely very, very difficult. I've had a hard time making friends. We have one alliance, but I have no idea why we have it. Like, they just decided to give us the alliance, and I was like, okay. They randomly start wars, randomly want an alliance. You get dragged into a war you had no part in with players you've not even met. I, I haven't encountered players you haven't even met. Problems. Plague spreading from someone's game from Sweden that was on the other side of the world. Oh, for the Age of Plague. Yeah. 
so I think there are definitely like some balance passes that need to go through for things, especially like like what you're saying. Uh, there is like some AI. I I think like the diplomacy needs needs some tweaking to make it actually possible. Because like right now I'm putting everything I can into the United States and I am still struggling to make friends with them. So there is a little bit of balance for sure that needs to happen there. But I don't think it's like too bad. I think you got to be prepared, you know, make sure that your armies are up to speed. There are ways to like get out of wars that you don't want to be in. If you have good culture, for example, you can force truces. So there is got to be like a little bit of balance with that. Uh, we're going to spend all this money on a great artist, I think. What else do we get here? Wealth from artwork. Increased population. Luxury goods. What do I really need money for? Upgrade to master artist. I need to pay another 75 artwork. Whoosh. It's a lot of paisanos. All right. Like every AI ever in this kind of game, to be honest. That's kind of how I feel, VM. Like, I don't really feel like it's any different than the AI in something like Civ. Other run two, AI was constantly at war, went for alliances. That was kind of strange. Yeah. I mean, and again, it like, it depends on like the difficulty you're playing on. You know, like we're playing on master, so I'm expecting the AI to be more aggressive, like unnecessarily so. Come here, Brazil. Let me hunt you down. Barbos everywhere. Okay, they've literally just boxed in my merchant. He's as out of the way as he possibly could be, and they've completely boxed him in. All right, one more recon balloon and we're locked into the Age of Aether. So let's just do that. Why not? Crisis Ages are global. It's simply working as designed. Yep. Many players are accustomed to going through the motions of 4X games, explore, expanse, pass, turn. In this game, you're really worried to, to paying attention to more detail. Agreed. But the UI has shortfalls. I don't really mind the UI. I don't see a lot of problems with the UI. Some people said that they have problems reading the text. I don't have that issue, but I've also got a good monitor. So, I, you know, I'm sure that that plays into it a little bit. All right, well, I, I guess it's a little bit more vision. Come here. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you, Brazil. God, there's so many burbs out here. Homies, let me through. Why are you locking me in here? Can I add towns? I can. Okay, this is huge. I think I'm going to do it here. I could claim a territory and then build a town like right here. Which would obviously be very, very aggressive. Or I could build here and I could make it like a mining town.
Alternatively, I could um, expand into this forest and absorb domain here. But I don't really see a reason to absorb this outpost. Last but not least, I could build the town out in this way. But I think that kind of gobbles up Cologne. All right, I think I'm going to do it here. We'll see how the fight happens. It's going to be their rally point. Feels like the UI is designed for mobiles. kind of see that it's like big buttons to click but Diablo 4 looks like a mobile you can argue the UI is 7 out of 10 but I would argue the nature of the mechanics deserves a 9 out of 10 UI again I'm not really seeing the issue with the UI other than that it's like big clickable buttons like it doesn't feel like it's in the way which is what I would consider like a mobile UI. Like it's like there's too much stuff. I, I'd love to be able to move things around a little bit more, but in general, I feel like I have a pretty solid like window at what I'm looking at. I feel like there's something I'm meant to do that I'm forgetting right now. Diplomacy. Treasure sent 38. Established relations 42. That's the envoy. Improved relations is 15. Trade is 45. If I send them a gift, that'll give me an extra 10. That should give me additional... Maybe. I think every merchant you have gives you a bonus. I'm not certain, but I am theory crafting that right now. Uh, these guys got people just like working forests. And not like the burial mounds. Oh, the burial mounds only give me passive sanitation. They don't actually give me worked sanitation. All right, if that's the case, I think I do need to build another trash heap here. And Munich's probably going to need one too. Hoi, there's a lot of work to be done. Grandmaster AI still eats me alive. I mean, we're playing on master and like we whomped adept. We got whomped in our first master game. Second master game, obviously going a lot better right now. But it's still a process. Um, she whiz, it's a lot of armies. I think I'm going to move these guys back to Bremen. We can attack those barbos and move on their square. I'm also then going to heal. This explorer is just going to sit here and he's just going to like face tank a thousand barbarians. Okay, I guess I'll go around Los Angeles since they don't want me to go. Like, I don't understand why they don't want me to have merchants in their cities. Why is he just insisting on keeping units here blocking my path? We're locked into the Age of Aether. Theoretically. I have two more balloons. 
All right, well, let's put one there. And we'll move the other one. We got one there, uh, I guess, down here. Rocker, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the agency. If you start with a food buff or get any kinds of buffs, those bonuses will vary, so it makes sense that it's not showing. The hunting lodge said plus one meat. Uh, if you go in on them, they will show you the other bonuses, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so like, for example, we have multi-level terrorist buff and we have commoner crema creation bu cremation buff. I love when I show things behind the camera. Uh, so you can see, like, once that they're here, you can not actually zoom in on them. Also, if you press... Uh, if you press Alt, it actually doesn't show. Which is a little bit of a bummer, but... Gives you an idea of everything in the world. Farm Warfare XP. I mean, I, right now, I'm just like, okay, they want hostilities. I will... I will beat them with superior weaponry. Uh, we're going to upgrade to the police department in our capital, and then we'll switch them back to science. Let's grab the museum in Munich. Roma can get... Also the museum. Zhuo Zhang. Let's go to that police department. Essen, Probably a privy council. the atelier studio outright all right they moved an army up but basically this is what i'm just doing is i'm just waiting for them to move armies out and then i'm just picking away at them with my superior numbers Okay, these guys have gotten a little bit glitched out, but. I guess I could put a recon balloon in an army. Bang. <laughs> Bang. Oh yeah, and as they, as they increase in veterancy as well, they're going to get like a uh, much higher damage, which is a beautiful thing. I kind of feel like I should just stay on this mountain right now. Seattle. I guess we'll just deploy into Los Angeles. I'm going to try to get around up here. Let's wait a turn. Let's see what happens. Uh, okay. We need, let's see, plantations. Here and here. Essen for sure is going to end up with a housing problem eventually. So we might as well give him a poor house. Oh, they already have a poor house. Well, now they got lots. <laughs> now they got extra room. Mountain builders strong. I'm actually not finding the mountain builders that good. But food buffs and hunters activated. Explorer will be farming the barbarians. Oh, yeah, the explorer for sure will be. Yeah. If you click on the tile instead of the improvement panel at the bottom, does it show resource generation? Yes. Like behind me, it shows what's created here. If that's what you mean. Get what you're saying, but Siv does how much a mine does on its own and you can mentally add the tile income. Yeah, I mean, if you hover over it, this basically says the same thing as the tile where it says works two gold, which is equal to four wealth. But if you look at just the, the tile income, it just shows the two gold. Chayad, hello. Good morning, dude. I was using the bottom left improvement panel to do improvements. 
Oh, yeah, you can also, like, click into locations and uh, build stuff as well. Which, you know what? I should probably do. Works two copper for production or works one limestone for production. Sure. Give him a little boost. One guy there. Other guy to here. You're going to chase down armies. Uh, looks like I wasn't attacked, so I might as well go on the offensive here. At least a little bit. Oh my god, they let me out. I can sneak towards Chicago. Shy City, here I come, baby! If you use the bottom left panel, it doesn't give you those numbers. Ah, yeah, you're correct. You're, you're correct there for sure. Yeah, the generic menu doesn't know what tile you're going to build on. Oh my god, we can go back to tech. How much tech are we making? 12? It's pretty good. It's pretty good to have one of your towns producing 12 technology. Size 32 and just like growing hand over fist. No way. Did the Greeks just attack me? Wow. Thanks, United States. I really wanted to be at war with the Greeks. Said not me. Who has now lost... One of my dudes for no good reason. Uh, okay, this guy has to go back on defense. You guys are on guard. These guys seriously blocking me again. I'm going to try to sail across to Pittsburgh here. It's worked in the past. We live in a society. We have shopping centers. We have public libraries. Age reward, 20 specialists. And we have coffee houses, which cost specialists. We need one more tech. We now need four techs to level up. So it's probably going to be reason, seeing as this is where all of like, the universities and stuff are. I feel like that makes the most sense. Dusseldorf, the good news is that you have more stuff to build. Zhuazhang, you need sanitation. But you probably aren't going to get it anytime soon. I'm just going to give you a granary. Ah, my artist is ready to be upgraded. To a master artist who can now be deployed in the capital to create masterwork art, which generates seven luxury, one art XP, one production, one wealth, and one culture. Among other stuff as we upgrade it. We got to make more art. You also need a new plantation up here. And there's room for more stuff in Dusseldorf. I feel like I have a lot of olives here. I do. I also have a lot of tea.
I don't have any specialists, so I can't actually make this coffee house. Uh, what can I do with all these olives? Vats? No. Press? Converts olives to cooking oils. What about that kitchen? Converts olives to delicacies. 10 food, 5 luxury, 1 production, 1 wealth. Let's go, baby. Way better. Well, that spice is also worth a lot. If only I had been smart and built outposts out here for Hamburg. It would have been so much better. Okay, we're at 89. If I sent him a treasure, I'd get another 16. That's 105. Let's try to get an embassy with them. Found the mount improvement very useful. That one card that reduces all your food need by 50 is kind of insane. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I forgot about that. And that's probably why my cities are all so big. That's why I don't need to make more bread. That tracks. That a hundo P tracks. Mm, all right. I guess we'll move out of this forest for the meantime. Heal you up. <gasps> Chicago! I finally got a merchant in you to give me 20 wealth per turn. 25, actually. Huge amount of wealth. All right, Dusseldorf is ready for another city. Again, I could just absorb either of these castles. I guess if I absorb this, I would get three territory to build on. Along with all this coffee and gold. But I'm also kind of feeling like Roma might need to take this. Like I might need to expand and then absorb. Because Roma's got nowhere else to go. In fact, I am going to have to do that for Roma. They can't go that way. Oh, Deucey Dwarfs. So that means I either build like a city up here. Or I absorb that. Or I build like a city here. Can I build on desert tiles? I actually don't know that. All these caravanasseries are really, really hyper valuable. USA is not leaving us room for cities to grow. No, not at all. I wish Zhao Zhang could just like absorb one of these as a town. They're going to have to build a city probably here. In fact, yeah, either that or I build it up in this forest, but I think I'd rather them over here. At least they could do some mining. Dusseldorf should really be my next town. I think I'm going to build it right here. Or better yet, expand onto those and build it here. Let's do that.
Frankfurt. Yeah, I guess we might as well build a hunting camp. Munich is idle. Not for long. If I build it a public library, it needs education. Ha, which it can have. Trajang. Let's give you a museum. I definitely feel like our cities are getting a bit out of control in a good way. Claim territory, build a city in the woods to make a lumber town. I don't need any more lumber towns there. I mean, I don't know what the town is going to be, but... I should have just been sailing these guys across aeons ago. Essen built a atelier studio. They're really having trouble with sanitation, it looks like, up there. Probably because they don't have a single trash heap. We built a public library during the Age of Enlightenment, plus 20 specialists. Bremen has grown to absorb more territory. More hammies, always the solution. Escalating cost of pioneers makes it so to get to the point where it's not worth absorbing outposts compared to building new towns with culture. Yeah. And we have half cost pioneers. Which is kind of ludicrous. Yes, money in Pittsburgh. Uh, it is actually a bit of a question of, is there anywhere that I can build more outposts? Maybe get some, like, coal. The spice, at least. Shopping center for Dusseldorf. These cities are growing pretty well. Honestly, putting a merchant in a town in a vassal is like, gives them a pretty solid, pretty solid boost. Oh yeah, we have specialists down here now too. So we're going to have to figure out how to actually get more consistently instead of just through a random one thing. Uh, Munich, you've got that. Let's give you a shopping center next. Palazzo can generate culture and arts XP. Let's pick up you. I really want to push to golden age here. The thing is, I just like, I need a lot of arts for all sorts of stuff right now. So I just got to be patient. Roma, what do you need? Uh, you've got the museum, so you could just go straight for the public library. You don't have a saw pit, do you? No. Okay, they do have the brick worker. They're having to import bricks to f work it effectively. I I just like I'd really love to get rid of these hunting camps and build like a saw pit. But I think I just gotta be patient. 
All right, I'm going to sail another guy up to Miami. Hundred and twenty four with the United States. Trade is giving me plus ninety five. OK, so this is the key to diplomacy. If you want diplomacy, you have to send merchants. It's the only way to significantly stack. Everything else is temporary. Merchants are forever. That's it. That's all it is. Kind of mapsy does this, by the way. Large continents for Pangea. Uh, it's a huge map. On... I guess everything is just continents right now, right? Continents make two big boys. Kind of wish we made three to five. Still too similar to Pangea. Yeah, I mean, I definitely would like more map types. Half cost outpost post merchants. Uh, the half cost outpost is uh, literally just the starting tech we started with. It's 50% for outposts on pioneers. School books. Recording our nation's knowledge in textbooks has been essential to the growth of our nation, but an adjustment to the format will help young minds into future scholars. Two bonus education from books. That's so good. Y'all are still at war with America, right? Yeah. Hundred and thirty-five. That's the highest we've ever tried for an embassy. We have a lot of money right now, too. Now I get free outposts here. Free trade posts, I mean. You are currently linked to Zhuo Zhang. Yeah, why not? Wow, is this a city? Yeah. I was like, how is this place doing so good? It has been attacked a lot as well. Ah, there is a barbarian camp down there. We could absolutely take that. You got a museum. Let's give you the public library. As we tech like madmen. How is everybody in stuff? Age of Enlightenment, Age of Renaissance, Age of Enlightenment, Age of Enlightenment. Okay. Nobody's deciding to grow too wildly yet. Asking Germany for peace. Small brain crease. Okay. I don't understand this. United States, I thought we were cool. Religious differences. Oh. They, um, they really went hard on the Buddhism here. What's weird is in the age of enlightenment, Religions aren't meant to spread. Secularism grows, preventing the founding of new religions and slowly converts religious pops to be non-religious. But I'm actually getting more religious pops over time. So that doesn't really feel like it is working exactly as it ex describes itself. Attack. Face my guns. Uh, you've got a town. You got a town. We got a little more room to build here. Zhuo Zhang needs a town. Over in these mountains. Connects up to Bangalore. That's kind of nice. Dusseldorf, looks like you've built everything again. Time to go back on super tech. 
Y'all are war with America, right? Is this in game or IRL? When you play on Master, the AI can actually keep up on tech based. I mean, they're not keeping up on tech, but they have been doing pretty good. They've been doing better than anticipated for sure. Oh, I need one of these to unlock this other stuff. Or do I spawn another artist? Does we get such good bonuses for Masterpiece Works? And it only gets better as time goes on. I think I'm going to spawn another artist. Didn't realize Roma was 31 in size. It does not seem like it's that big of a town. Forty-four. Twenty-six. That's a swamp. Okay, if I claim this, it might claim it for Dusseldorf. If I claim this, it might claim it for Stuttgart. I mean, I guess it's going up every turn. I could just wait and not claim it. What rush am I really in? None, I suppose. Uh, you guys are just going to vibe. Meow, 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 meow. Ah, nice. The plateau. Let's build that for sure. Do we have five balloons? We do have five balloons. We don't have 99 loops balloons, but we do have five scouting balloons. Seems to be exactly how religions work. They don't really seem to follow the rules either. Early AI is just cheating. Early AI cheats very hard. Yeah. You ain't wrong on that. Kerblam. How are we doing on power, by the way? 2,000, your power, 28. 28, wow, okay. Greece, 19. So somehow America has gone down from 120 to 88. They just keep getting mad that my settlements are too close. Oh, I guess Potsdam is too close. Well, sucks to reason. Age of Aether. Fun steampunk age. Let's go. Why not? It's worth a laugh. We'll get it in eight turns. Damn, man, Dusseldorf's making 31 knowledge. Even some of our vassals are producing, like, a, a, a fairly decent bit there. All of these towns can be upgraded. I forgot we unlocked higher level towns. And I've not been expanding them. RIP all my NGXP. Everything in the Spice Merchants front. All right. Keep cruising. I assume that, like, if I was to do something, like, in the Age of Aether, focus on military, I could probably turn on Brazil really hard. And just, like, completely trash them. I mean, I think I could do that now if I really wanted to. 
I would just need to turn Munich and Dusseldorf into like military compounds. Ah, oh, universities create specialists. That makes sense. That makes sense. Something I didn't know. Going to the tile tells you the XX for influence, which was on the map mode, but at least it's somewhere. Yeah, the one thing it just doesn't tell you is how much that influence is growing by per turn, which I would like it to do. Uh, I'll take this piece. Yeah. I was going to say, it looks like the U.S. just backed out of all the other wars, so... Miami trade. You guys are going to slaughter these barbarians. Let's see how this goes. This is an absolute firing squad. 50 arts XPs. Take these tapestries. Munich, you've got your university. On build, 10 specialists. Demand for need, plus 2 education. We seem to be fine on education right now, so I'm not too stressed about that. Same here. We should be able to get that university. Established relations, plus 29. So I could build another envoy to get that up to th plus 20. Improved relations is just plus 20. But I guess that's 20 more than I currently have. All right. Um, we do have a slot here. I think it's got to be another trash heap. If Munich wishes to keep growing. Dusseldorf has two trash heaps, and it's still also struggling to keep up. I could get rid of this forest and build another burial mound here. Rome is doing fine. Essence doing fine. Zhuo Zhang, not so fine. You guys need, I think, a quarry here? For marble? A stone cutter converts marble or limestone to stone blocks and gives us engineering XP. I don't suppose I could build that anywhere, can I? Just quarries. No, I don't suppose I could. Gotta wait a turn, I think, for that to kick in. Uh, my artist is ready to upgrade to a master artist. I probably should have done a little bit ago, but... Kill these barbos. Head back to camp. This artist goes master artist and then insert into the capital. Everybody else chills. Dusseldorf has gone back to having built everything. Twenty-two thirty-two. versus cavalry versus line.
I've decided to build another army. Why, you might ask? No particular reason. Just feels like I could maybe use another one. Drajang has really um, come up there as a city. I didn't think it would grow quite so quickly, but it is bustling. Tells you the growth when you hit P, but it shows the total in the tile. Oh, yeah, there is. Uh, okay, so yeah, the plus 33. I forgot about this map mode. So that's adding 39 a turn, 0.39. Yeah, I would love something that just says, like, right here, it should, like, behind behind me. It should say, like, adding 39, seven turns until annexed by Roma. That would definitely be a worthwhile UI improvement. More towns. Roma's going to take that outpost. Zhang has its town. I guess Essen could build a town here. Why not? Why not? Roma to university. Zhuangjiang to shopping center. Essen to university. 13 size city making universities. How is the tall boy further? It's going wild. We're huge. We are quote unquote large and in charge. Rio, like Brazil's biggest city, 23. America's biggest city, 23. Greece's biggest city, 29. They're actually not too bad. Our biggest city, 35. We're chonking. A couple of real chonk lords. God, we're going to have another chaos event. Well, I guess, man, I'm going to make more merchants. The city over here is pretty big, right? Kobe? Kobe? Might as well throw a merchant. Loving it. Dusseldorf is a bit short on grassland, which nerfs our expansion reduction, but we still the biggest boy. Yeah. Having room to actually build has been a bit tricky. Stubborn students. Pupils all across Germany have been slow to develop alongside peers in other nations. Education rates are much lower than average. 50% education efficiency for four turns, or we just spend 900 bucks. I'll just spend 900 bucks. I'm super rich right now. We're not really doing anything with our money. <laughs> because no good reason. When you think about the fact that it's 2,000 gold to like boost a musketeer, it doesn't actually feel like we have that much cash. Uh, I guess a Privy Council first makes more sense here. I gotta get rid of these crossbows soon. Nobody has even started advancing into the next stage. And we're almost done advance. Even Persia, wherever they might be in the world. Persia and Zulu. No idea. All right. Well, our government's maxed out. So I'm going to start absorbing new towns. Uh, and I think I'll spawn another envoy up here to make friends with America.
21. Get in there. Spend wealth to rush buildings. Yeah, if you have the right tech, you can, yeah. Uh, you can also spend it on, like, increasing, uh, like, troops as well. Building troops faster. Newton, can you ban that view bot? <laughs> Please. Uh, let's see. Munich. Lifting tower. Not that I need improvement points at this point. Oh, nice. So Roma has reached out and touched these guys. So we can grab this now as a huge expansion to Roman territory. Get rid of that. Tech grants to USA has cheaper tech rush bonuses and the best one, rush culture. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can also spend money to rush culture, which is always kind of worthwhile. Ooh. Take the timeline into the age of Aether. What are all this? Aether consumed for power. Are we steampunk now, boys? Aether is revealed on mountains. Harvest it to power your improvements. All remaining barbarian camps have been disbanded. All regional unrest has been refreshed to zero. Generate power to produce modern buildings and improvement. Assemble an air force to defend your regions. Hey, burial mounds give us plus one air force. Auto meta improvements and air force available. Air units can be unlocked through research in this age. Air units can only be based at specific locations such as a the capital. They are not grouped with land units. If air and land units are in the same tile, reselecting will cycle between land, air, and the tile itself. Air fighters automatically engage any enemy air units that come into their intercept range. Air bombers can be commanded to attack enemy armies and navies within their range. Air units can spend a full turn to be rebased regardless of distance. Power becomes a need in this age. Unlike other needs, the power is determined entirely by what you build. Most buildings from this age require power. Goods like petroleum and coal and improvements like the power station can be used to meet power needs. If a region doesn't have enough power, it may suffer brownouts or rolling blackouts. Age of Aether unlocks Aether Clouds, mounted rifles, and early machine guns, along with military bases and the Aether Harvester. One extra worker slot. Aether is a unique and energetic good available on mountain tiles. It can meet the power needs of your regions. Aether can also be processed by different improvements available in the Age of Aether. The Secret Lab, which generates knowledge, and the Aether Refinery, which can use Aether to supply more power. Aether's usefulness is undeniable, though its benefits are largely limited to this age. Whoa. Okay. I have, like, no mountains. <laughs> It's really hard to grow into mountains. <laughs> I literally have no mountains. And I can't make trade posts in the mountains either. Cologne is the only tile that is capable of harvesting this. Air forces, here we go. Time for total air supremacy. Yeah, I mean, part of me, I think, is just going to bomb Brazil for the sky. This game gets more interesting from some Civ game to, wow, I need to pick this up. They fix the UI issues, let you pick a starting city. This game would go from 7 to 5 to 9 out of 10. The, so picking your starting city has also, like, definitely been a major request I've seen on the Discord and stuff, so. Add it to my wish list. Seems novel enough, not enough to pull me from Necromancer, Knight, Megacorps, and Stellaris. Dude, I can't wait for the uh, Machine Age for Stellaris. I'm very excited for that. Super sexy steampunk ear units communication the age of rocketry is the only next stage we can go into rail gain innovation max town level for urbanization along with sewers okay that's pretty good and grocery stores lighter than air airships steam fighters Air taxis. Steam fighters. Cloud estate. 
converts Aether to Delicacy. Sky Hotel. Mad Science. Secret Lab, Power Station, Aether Refineries, and Automata. Automated Firm converts Aether to Wheat and drains power. Assembly Line. Automata Paper Factory converts Aether to Paper. Automata Textile Mills. So here's the thing. I don't have Aether, so all of this stuff is not actually that useful. Land Ships. No way. Cool. Dreadnoughts. Steam Trawlers. Rare Earth Minerals. Rare Earth Mines. And Steel Furnaces. Petroleum and petroleum. Oh, man. Okay. What do I go for first? Submarines. Produces coal to energy. Aether to energy. Do you think this desert could be full of oil? It's not full of spice. It could be full of oil. They're selling Pick Your Starting City in the Age of Ancients DLC that comes with the premium pack? Oh, really? I feel like that might get rolled over, but... That's stupid. They shouldn't be selling that. That should be base. Probably take Age of Alchemy and Age of Aether in every game you can play. Age of Alchemy, you have to do a lot of exploring, though. Age of Utopia at sea base cities? Oh, that's cool. Is there an Age of Wonders? No. We have to go elsewhere to get that. <laughs> All right, my army is up here. I guess there's no more barbarians to kill. Dusseldorf can get ourselves military base requires power drain. Here's the thing. I don't have power. Gather Aether. And I don't have any of these mountains. I didn't realize this stuff would only spawn on mountains. It's definitely causing me some issues. <laughs> I could build a coffee house. Down by the river. First use of my specialists. Uh, I do need to make one more great artist. Actually, two more great artists. So we'll start working on that. I can make more gold. But I feel like claim territory is the better use of my juice right now. Like, what if I did that? And then spent all my things on coffee. Instead of aether clouds. We're making specialists, so it'll catch up. Aether gives you power, though. Yeah. 
claim territory to take a mountain, right? Claiming mountains near Brazil would make sense, so they can't take it. I don't have any territory near them. Stuttgart is not actually a city. My crossbow just became an early machine gun. And my dragoon became a mounted rifle. Very good, sir. Um, Dusseldorf in army. I forgot these guys were making me an army. Perhaps a mounted rifle would be good. You guys got to wait there until we have enough points. Upgrade you to a keep. Essen. Let's give you the museum. Okay. I don't know if you just saw that, but all of those mountains just like instantly got grown into. So I guess it does turn around pretty quick. Roma, you are going to absorb this outpost. You are then going to build uh, plantations. Pl -pl 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 plantations to make coffee. And a mine, a deep mine to make gold. Roma is in need of sanitation. It's also in need of education. So let's get a, a public school and a trash pit. Great. Huge boosts for Roma. It's going to help Roma grow a lot. Roma might actually overtake Dusseldorf somehow. That's a very bizarre thing to say, but it might be the case. Somehow, I just cannot keep up on trash. No matter what I do. Trash heaps. Oh, there's another spot down here I can also build. Didn't even see it. All right, so Aether Harvesters are 43. I guess I could harvest all the Aether here and then move it to other cities. Uh, it does mean I'm going to want... Well, it looks like it already has everything it needs there, so... We'll just keep growing. Just keep growing. Yeah, gobbling up territory all over the place. Because Potsdam is a town and tiles in the first adjacency have 2.18 expansion costs. Some other random mountains. Yeah, I mean, it does seem like we just grew a lot in a lot of directions. Uh, can I make you into the leader? Promote to leader eight. Yeah, let's do that. He's a line unit, so I'm going to make one more of those mounted homies and then this army is perfection some aether we can pull here in munich as well i guess right now it's all about just getting specialists i have nothing for government so let's start actually looking at like what my next town to take is and i think it's stuttgart 127. We'll have that pretty soon. If I was to make Stuttgart <clears throat> a military base, <laughs> oh, look, they're already harvesting Aether over here. 
Fancy do. All right, Munich, you can have the first one. Oh, and each one of these allows for two worker slots as well. So I'm definitely going to have to clear cut some forests. Literary salon work two specialists. Oh, that's really nice. <laughs> Can I build one of them here as well in Dusseldorf? Can I build one of them in Roma as well? This is going to generate a lot, a lot of additional specialists. You guys are going to need more education, but you're getting a museum right now, so that should track. Uh, and these dudes have no room for anything unless I start burning down forests, which I will do in due time. Stuttgart, you've been integrated. Congratulations. You need to import steel ingots because they will give you a ton of production. Probably something like this. It's kind of trying to figure itself out. It needs housing. And it needs sanitation. So let's get it a poor house. And then we'll build a trash heap right next to Brazil. That seems kind. Uh, well, this merchant is free. I suppose we'll send him up north. And my artist in here can be upgraded and added to the city. As we continue to grow. Yeah, Brazil is definitely like real up on our borders. USA, what's been going on with you? We're 20 behind in treasure sent. But that's about it. So I'm going to send you treasure and I'm going to try another envoy soon. Or another uh, uh, embassy soon. Munich. You could maybe make that military base. Does this give, like, XP? Is that how it works? Yeah, combat XP. In exchange for power drain. Generates nine knowledge. I could just start pumping out armies from Munich. I'd really like to get bombers. That's what I really want. That's the real key. Uh, Zhuo Zheng is also pretty much done building. I love this massive forest in here. <laughs> Just like this unusable hunk of land. In the middle of all my territory. Cologne is probably going to expand there and then eventually absorb that outpost. That seems like their most reasonable option.
Hamburg should become a spice market. If there's a lot of oil here, I might make Hamburg my next town. 190 to integrate. We can honestly just start like boosting up quite a bit on government stuff right now because I don't need government for anything else. Unless I want like social fabric, which not really. Stuttgart needs burial mounds for air forces. How do these work? One air capacity unit for mound tradition. I kind of want to burn this down and then just build a city, like build a town down there. I could maybe put their town here. Make it a mining town. It's not a bad idea. We're going to get an innovation really soon as well, which is nice. Everybody's in the Age of Enlightenment. Dusseldorf, you're on tech. Some merchant appears to have gotten lost. That is one thing I noticed, like, your units will keep accidentally joining other groups, and then they get stuck. Alright, so our army is 460 strength. That ain't bad. I should probably build some city guards, actually, for Stuttgart. Would be smart. Guard reserves. All right, and then we will maybe plan to go to war with Brazil. I think we're going to go for airplanes next and then maybe make a play on Brazil just for fun. Last I checked, you can't burn down other nations' refineries, only the neutral cities that exist. Towns you can burn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, so the Sao Luis is just a town. But yeah, Rio, I wouldn't be able to. I mean, I guess I could always not go to war with Brazil. Does it benefit me to spend a lot of time building an army to blow up Brazil? No, not really. It would slow down all of the technology and everything else by quite a bit. I do think building an air force so that we at least have a backup plan in case of emergency is a good idea. So maybe we think, maybe we think we, before we pull that trigger, not blow them up completely. All right. I am capable of gathering more of this aether. Are you boosted? You're not 40 points to expand town. Okay. I guess I don't have like Aether refineries or anything yet either, so. Uh, so Stuttgart could build a town here. Honestly, it's kind of the only spot I see for them, so. And then I think I'm going to start maybe... I still need two more artists. I need three more artists, actually. Essen does not have its master artist yet. Uh, you're making guard reserves at the moment. For Stuttgart. Is this a good Civ clone or something else? It's something else, I would say. Yeah, it's got a lot of Civ elements, but it is kind of its own... It's definitely got its own unique thing going. We don't need to be in a war. We just occasionally do some special maneuvers. Yeah, that's true. I guess if I have bombers, I could just pick off armies. I still have open hostilities, so. You raise a valuable point. Zhao Zhang is fully built, dudes. 
which means another 10 knowledge per turn. Disgusting. You also fully built? Wow. Wow, wee, woo, wow. I am actually running low on housing in Munich. Also, another religion has come in here. Shintoism? I'm 89% Shinto? Man, I really should have started my own religion. I guess as long as you don't embrace a state religion, you never have a need for faith. So it doesn't really matter. Ah, and secularism is actually rising now, too. Yeah, quite a bit. Nemke, hello. Doing very well today, dude. We're in the uh, steampunk age of Aether right now. Which is pretty cool. Which is uh, pretty cool, if I could say so myself. All right, where else do these guys need? We're sending a merchant up to Miami. I guess LA. Or Houston. Either or. Uh, Deuce, you can go back on treaties for 11 knowledge. I'm gonna grab that extra guard and just bring him down to Stutes. Stutes itself. Currently has no needs. Let's go with the Palazzo. Are we winning, Rando? I think so. Currently, we're definitely in the lead. We've, uh, we've, we're, our cities are way bigger than anybody else's. We're way ahead on tech right now. And our armies are pretty much unkillable. Because we're such chonky boys. And we just found oil. Now for freedom. Oil generates extra workers. Okay, so where is aether energy? Here? Converts aether to power to energy. Mad science. The maddest of sciences. Yeah, like my my city is 37. <laughs> and it's 190% needs. 186 in Roma, 178 in Munich. Munich is starting to fall behind, but only just. <gasps> we found oil. The desert does have oil. Not much. But a little bit. Bangalore has got an insane amount of oil over here. Oh, my God. And, of course, Hamburg has a lot of oil. All right. Hamburg would make a very good town, then. Could I build an outpost? And collect oil platforms. There's a question I genuinely am not certain the answer of. This is growing at 0.3 a turn. Uh, so like 1, 2, 3, 10, 11, 15. Probably 20 turns to get that petroleum. 7 XP here. 65, 72. Five turns if I want to take it that way. We got options. Hmm. 
Hmm, this conservatory would be nice for Earth's XP. I'm gonna start upgrading my artists. We have all these great masters. We really haven't been upgrading them, so. Munich getting close to its natural state of existence. Similar to Civ 2. I don't think I've ever run a faith game. Really? Oh man, I'm, I'm in Civ Civ 6. It was I, I was winning by faith more often than anything else. I always found I was accidentally winning by faith. It was just so easy to do. Can these balloons move into the mountains? No. Uh, I guess I could move them there into that forest, though. Chris Lauren, hello. Hated faith in Civ 6. I did a religious victory once just to say I'd done it and never again. Oh, man. I love faith. I find it's an incredibly fun way to play Civ 6 because it allows you to fight without fighting. Aether expertise. We've refined our techniques in capturing and refining Aether, but we can improve the use of the substance by improving our machines. Age of Aether units cost 50% less upkeep cost. Oh, we're at war with Greece again. <laughs> Oopsie. Now, we don't really have any Age of Aether units, but... Now, is that saying oil is here or here? here how much of that did I just screw up <laughs> I mean I could test my armies against Greece but I feel like Greece is having a hard enough time as it is tried and I always quit halfway through kind of why I didn't like it I'm very non-aggressive 4x player I liked it in multiplayer games a lot because in the big multiplayer games of Civ, I would have um, nobody ever wanted to fight each other directly. And religion was kind of like a sneaky way we could go about fighting each other. You get an Aether Harvester. You should get one. Maybe easier said than done. Dusseldorf is going to get oil. You guys have an Aether Harvester. I'd like to know if this works. Ah, okay. This sucks, unfortunately. Uh, it looks like Caravanassi break if you delete them and you can't rebuild them. Damn, Daniel. That is an unfortunate one. I need to take a screenshot of that for the YouTube thumbnail. 200% all maxed out. It's perfect. These guys have tea and coffee. I guess I could give them a coffee house. Why not? A little extra knowledge. I never did MP much with Civ. I imagine it'd be very different. Yeah. Adding a whole new version of worker spam for Jesus. Apostles everywhere. One thing about like millennia is no worker micro. I do like that a lot. Yeah. Problem is that it's a castle. I don't think that changes it. I'm fairly certain it doesn't matter. 
Nocti Nocti, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the agency. I mean, one thing I'm seeing for sure here is that I can't build uh, oil well. <laughs> Just currently my entire plan with my other outpost. Brazil wants neutrality. Yeah, all right, dude. I don't know why he is going for that at negative 200. It's scared. I think so, yeah. Treasure Sand 42. Improve relations 2. There's no gift? 136. I mean, I am a chonky boy. Alright, well, Castle Towns it is, I guess. So I suppose that outpost isn't going to make any sense for me either then. I'm just going to drop it in there. If you change it back to a regular outpost, you should be able to build the improvements you want. for science. You were correct. That's going to be a second oil into Dusseldorf. You were bloody correct, sir. Uh, I have enough to absorb another town. No, I don't. I almost have enough to absorb another town. I'm also just realizing I'm pretty sure I have... Yeah, a bunch of foreign imports here that I have not set up. Uh, do these guys need anything? They need a bit of education and they need a bit of sanitation. Culture, luxury, production, wealth. What's this? Jewelry, wealth, luxury, production. I might as well just keep bringing in books. Seeing as it super techs me. Can't import houses. Just, I just added like another two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know. I want to say, I want to, I, I think I just added like eight. You would download a house. <laughs> eight additional knowledge or 16 additional knowledge. I think I probably would download a house if I'm going to be real with you. I think that is 100% something I would try to do and not feel guilty about it. Civ instincts got to be fought for sure. I found dealing with barbs very different. Maybe it's just XP things, but in Civ, I could hold back barbs with like two archers and a warrior. Yes, barbs much more lethal and you got to take them much more seriously. Now, if I make you a trade post and I make you a trade post and i make you a trade post and i make you a caravanassery and i make you a caravanassery suddenly this is a very very powerful outpost maybe i don't want to build hamburg as a town i kind of want to get rid of it and build an outpost here
It's just that caravan asteries are so good. But if I'm being real, I could make something much better than plus two diplomacy. If I actually built a town here. And I could add a town here and it could just be covered in forests. All right, we're going to do that. But first, mad science, secret laboratories, aether refineries, and power stations. Converts aether to analytics. Ooh. Um. What do we do next? Urbanization? Uh, that would fix sanitation for us. Let's take that. Four turns for this tech. We're making 124 research right now. It's getting out of control. The only reason I wouldn't download a house, I also need to download land to put it on. I mean, yeah, that's actually a pretty good point. <laughs> you make a pretty good point with that one. I can't much argue that. Uh, Roma doesn't have access to Aether, so I'm going to claim this mountain for them, and I'm going to build an Aether Harvester. Now they do have access to it. They're going to get that soon enough. Does oil wells just get you oil, or does it get you power? consumed for power. It just gets you oil, which equals power. Uh, Studi Stutes. Let's build you... Sure, a Privy Council. You're ready for another village. But it wouldn't do much for you. I could put one here and have double lumber camps. Maybe three if I ever destroy Paulista. I could also play plus 10 innovation points. Considering culture is every five turns and we just had an innovation. I think that's a really, really good idea. How's America feeling about us? 122. Established relations 36. Let's skip a turn. This merchant's actually going to explore because I'm pretty sure they have another city up here. Seems better for town. I believe it has more room to grow. Reason The Sims 4 is so popular is because millennials and zoomers can't afford houses. Dusseldorf closing in on 40 knowledge a turn. We might as well keep keep at war. Just for a little bit. Oh, you can't go in there. Okay. Well, go through the forest then. Miami is under siege. I mean, there's a lot of aether I could pull out of here. Problem is, I got nowhere to put it. I'm going to clear cut this forest. Let's unlock the conservatory in the meantime. I'm going to have to start getting, like, military bonuses soon. Oh, I can put merchants in Brazil. I'm not at war with them anymore. I completely forgot about this.
Uh, what would you want here? Let's go to the museum. Merchants are just so god darn expensive now, though. I'd almost be better off making settlers and turning them into merchants. Which is crazy when you say it out loud. All right. Do I make hamburger or do I make cologne? We're going to take cologne. Uh, let's see. These guys have not built any of these pastures. Ranches. So we'll start with them. There's for sure a housing crisis here. So let's build a poor house. Everyone is working a location. This place should go pretty fast now. Excuse me. Lots of meat. So a kitchen would generate a fair bit of food for them. Uh, and then they have a clay pit. Not really anything else. So we might as well make a brickwork. Give them a little bit of production. They can import the last piece of clay they're missing. Uh, and they can export... Delicacies. I don't know, man. Zhuang Hang. Doesn't really matter. Uh, this is a merchant. So I tell you what, why don't we like send him over here? And then we'll go to the civic monument to start. What do you call a man with no arms, no legs that hangs on your wall? Art. What do you call his arms and legs? Pieces of art. Ay, ay, ay. Karakaz, good morning. Brazil ate all the mountains you were asking about? Between Stuttgart and Brazil? Oh, yeah. It, wouldn't, it would be too difficult. Oh, Brazil. Oh, okay. Now you want to be hostile with me again. I see how it is, homie. Whoa, the Greeks took over Miami. Are we at war with the Greeks? Yes. My merchants are in trouble. My merchants are in big trouble. I don't know with open hostilities if you can sneak someone in. But by Jove, I'm going to try. Uh, warfare is maxed out and I don't need units. So I'm just going to take tenacity. Which gives us reduced upkeep cost. I'm going to clear cut this forest and then I'm going to build an aether refinery I guess oh all of these places need to also be building conservatories Definitely prefer to the incentives for millennia style resources, city building esque production chains over the bland Civ style strategic luxury resources. 
I mean, yeah, the, 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 the chain of goods in this is way, way more interesting and advanced. Newton, enjoy your walk, dude. I hope it's nice. Only art I see is the handsome man that's streaming now. Oh, well, shucks. Well, shiver me timbers. Door stuck. Door stuck. A merchant is toast. He is for sure toast. <laughs> Should I build a settlement in here? <laughs> Thinking about it. I guess an outpost would make more sense. I guess nothing would make more sense, really. Where's this merchant going? You're going to sneak down there. Urbanization is complete. We have unlocked sewers, grocery stores, and max level towns. We need one more thing until we hit the age of rocketry. Let's do ships. Because, you know, I kind of just want them. Ever so bad. Uh, I guess a conservatory makes sense here. Whale of a time. Did you know that they make cheese out of whale milk? I did learn that today. I said to sit on the toilet when I thought whales are mammals. Can you make cheese? So I googled it and they do. Butter, really? It really is a thing? I would try whale milk. Whales are huge. I mean, if we're drinking cow milk and we're getting to be, like, monstrous because of all the cow hormones and everything else, how big do you think we would get if we drank whale milk? These are the questions I think about. <laughs> this is what keeps me up at night. Cologne, it would be really cool if you would grow in a way that would let me build another city. Oh, I was going to... Yeah, I was actually just going to connect this and then absorb that outpost. Because that's not a particularly interesting outpost. Oh, Cologne, you don't have any military troops. My merchant has been killed by combat balloons. I didn't even know they could do that. kind of crazy but diplomacy maxed out my merchants have gone down in price that just gives you wealth per turn that's not very good wow Shintoism pushed really hard Pushed out most things. You know what? I don't have a merchant in this little town. So I'm going to move someone up to do that. Oof. Whale of a time. Do you even milk a whale? I know what they're doing for education these days. My daughter spent four years of her life on conservatory courses, yet can't open a can of beans. Listen, man, beans can be tough. <laughs> Sewers, finally back to sanitation level of ancient Rome. We're going to develop fins and whaley skin. Just big, big blubbery boys. Just sit here, just full of, as our blubber grows around us. This is crazy. I love that my ally refuses an embassy. Well, yeah, I can't say I didn't try. Food. 
54. Yeah, you'll be okay. Oh, terrible sanitation here. Terrible, terrible sanitation here. Um, let's build a trash heap. Let's not build a trash heap because there's nowhere to build one. Alright, well, whatever. It just doesn't grow for a while, I guess. Uh, I had stuff I wanted to clear cut. For very specific reasons. Can I remember what they were? No. They were probably things like Aether refineries around Munich. I guess I could clear cut this. All right, I guess so. Breeding tons of whales and for milk, the ocean ecosystem will be fine. Listen, man, whales could do with some, like, conservation-based breeding. I feel like that would be okay for them. Okay, wait, I'm, I'm confused about something. How do you milk a whale? It's underwater. I didn't really think about the logistics of this when it was first brought up, but I'm, I'm very curious about this right now. How do you, how do you, how do you milk them without the milk getting wet? <laughs> you know? Whales are mammals. They have nipples. True. I don't disagree with you there. Sewers, sewers, sewers. Oh, Munich needs housing. That's probably what I was trying to cut down. Yeah, because I can't build that anywhere else. Ah, well. Suction machine, suction to the skin, no ear gap. But also, like, what, what whales are they milking is the next question I have. Where are they getting the whales to milk? Are they just going out and finding whale, wild whales? I built two public schools here? That's crazy. Why are they having such a problem with education? They should not be having that education problem. Ah, you know what? Everybody is having a slight education problem. Except for Essen. Good old Essen. No problems ever there. Dusseldorf is up to level 40. Blue whales, obviously. Whale milk is like toothpaste specifically, so it doesn't dissolve in water. Same way whale babies make drink. Drink milk. We make whale baby machines. Imagine living in the 80s, not being able to Google specifics of whale milk production. You'd have to buy some like weird book that you'd bring to the bar and show all your friends. And be like, look, whale milk. People would ask you all sorts of questions. Interesting. I didn't know. Uh, I didn't actually think I was going to be able to disembark here because of the clear terrain that says this is not an embarkable position, but it let me do it anyway. I ain't sure how I feel about that. All right, Greece, I think I'd like to offer you peace. Before I land this boat on your shores. Dusseldorf has Aether, so I could refine one Aether into analytics. Can power from somewhere. I 
I guess we'll build a military base there as well. Golden Age, Arts XP, Social Fabric. Unrest Reduction minus five. Ooh, wow, that's really nice. Oh. Huh. This has changed. So boost region uh, is now golden age. Oh my God. It's all regions. All right, we're just doing nothing but golden ages until we win the game. That's it. We're in a golden age from here on out. We're going to be a constant state of golden age. That's insane. That's going to make me blow up. I get a cultural boost every five turns, and that lasts for four turns. We've begun capturing Aether for use in our factories and homes. We should also embrace Aether to power smaller day-to-day -day devices. Aether harvesters for production and one NGXP. Big. Big. Now we have a merchant in Olympia. Wow. The U.S. just lost their capital to Greece. They've been whomping them all game, and they just lost their two biggest cities. <laughs> it's, it's almost like they have an ally who has absolutely not been helping them at all in any way, shape, or form. It's so weird. Don't know how that could be, but seems like that's the case. Uh, you know what, Munich? Yeah, no, you can take the military base first. Males can sometimes be milked. So SeaWorld is doing to its workers? USA is small as a type to attack the USA. USA is our ally. They've been our ally the entire game. I'm not going to attack the USA. As tempting as that would be. Literally all Greek to everyone now. Local reforms, but not local. Amazing. Even the bonus is slightly lower. Yeah, yeah. I think it's 1.2 instead of 1.5, but still, for all of your cities, it's a pretty good boon. All right, you can just go into Houston. Oh! <gasps> Aeroplane, 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 aeroplane. Meow. Lighter than air. Sky hotels. To provide housing. That'll actually be really good for Munich. Ear taxis. Grant Luxury and Unrest Suppression. Cloud Estate. Can I build that like anywhere? I mean, I guess we're going to space, dudes. Why not? Why can't I build this? It's a flying hotel. Why can't I build it anywhere I want? By Jove. I see. It also has houses below it. It's pretty cool, though. Gotta be honest, it's pretty cool. My dope flying steampunk cities. Uh, Brazil is hostile with us again, right? Yeah. Yeah, America's really been getting its butt kicked. 
perhaps they should have allowed me to set up an embassy. <laughs> Just gonna put this one out there. Maybe an embassy would have helped them. Just go this way. You're not getting to Los Angeles any other way. Streamers playing this like a paradox game. Ally AI to make them fight your battles, but never help them back. Big EU4 energy. Oh my God. I remember when EU4 first came out and everyone would be like, wow, Britain is so strong. I'm going to make friends with Britain. And then they would never, ever lift a finger. Golden age. All the time. Golden age. Well, I do actually need to... Wow, 108 to claim. Never mind. Dusseldorf. You're at 150 power. I see. Okay, so if I keep building things, you're going to get cranky. Is your oil ready for harvesting yet? 11.4 out of 11.6. Next turn... I want a Sky Hotel. Bloop. Ooh, and the desert. I'm not sure what we can build in the desert. But an oil well here will be very nice. Oh, damn. We can build basically anything in the desert. <laughs> what do you need, Deuce? Deucey Dorfo? Uh, something to use those iron ingots on might be nice. Or that tea. We already have one tea house. He says coffee house. Tea or coffee into a single analytics. This turns two aether into a, into double analytics. One aether into two analytics. So coffee house doesn't really actually seem like it's a worthwhile thing to build. Another literary salon could be nice. Help me get more specialists. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to upgrade Bremen to a mound city in order for it to get the extra room for air capacity, I think. One air unit capacity. Oh, no, maybe you just get it no matter what. Weird, but okay. You guys have 13 power here. All right, well, let's do some about that. I mean, you have everything we need, so I'm just going to maybe just go back on tech. Honestly, just going to go back on tech. I don't know what the win conditions for this game are. I'm assuming, like, go to the moon? I know there's, like, different ages you go into can give you different win conditions. But the only ones I've ever seen are like have more power than anybody else, have 150% power more than anybody else. And I think there's one for like a religious victory as well. Uh, Roma. Let's give you a Sky Hotel. 
And then you're pretty much done. Feng Zhao, you're good on everything right now except sanitation. So I think we're also going to go tech on you. I have a question. Is anybody else in the Age of Aether? Yes, all three of them. Okay. Desert and Tundra being flat makes them much better than they are in Civ games. Yeah, yeah. Anything that can be built on scrubland. Yep. Yeah. Murder, always a win condition. Conquest is military. Harmony is religion. Probably survive AI. Avoid the dark tech path age. Space age victory too. 150 more power than any one nation. Yes. Archangel. Woo. You are counted versus the worst other nation. Wow. I mean, it is hard to get that kind of high powers, but... I mean... Tempted. Reese actually likes us right now. Oh, because I'm trading with them. How does everybody feel about another golden age? How does everybody feel about infinite golden ages? Uh, well, I guess I'm integrating Hamburg. Because frankly, why not? We'll grab you an oil well. We'll probably have to build you some housing here. I'm going to guess. And probably a trash heap. Hamburg is pretty small. Oh yeah, my merchant. Bangalore? Why not? Have to outsmart Skynet in the game. UI failures are much more work than outsmarting Skynet. Again, you everybody keeps talking about UI failures. And like outside of like a few places where I'm like, oh, that tool tip could be improved. It doesn't really feel like I would refer to them as failures. I feel like there's a lot of trash talking AI, the UI today without a lot of actual like what's wrong with the UI. Am I not allowed to build buildings here anymore? Okay, I just have to select them. <gasps> Ooh, steam fighters. What else can I build? Airships? Good against defensive and naval units. All right, well, I want to build some spaceships for sure. Some airships. Even though I'm going into the age of rocketry, so maybe I just like skip... Maybe I just skip that and go straight to treaties. Jump into Age of Rockets right away. Uh, Hamburg is going to need some police force. So Munich, I'm actually going to have you on guard reserves. I'll start merging those over to Hamburg. Okay, it's 90% tooltip issues. Overclocking failure. Aether powered machines have been running at full capacity nonstop since German inventors mastered harnessing the new power source. The mechanisms that keep factory conditions safe are starting to show cracks. The machines need to be retrofitted. Woof. Yeah, I'll just pay that money. I have like infinite money. <laughs> It's not infinite, but it feels like infinite money at the moment. Uh, Stuttgart. Give you a conservatory. I'm going to spawn artists. Where are my... Roma has both. Essen needs an upgraded master artist. All right, I'm just going to get tolerance. All right, I'm definitely starting to make enough engineering XP.
that it feels like things can get chonked up pretty big. Okay, so I don't actually think Mount Tradition enhances air unit capacity. I think it's literally just that that building has one air unit capacity. I think that's all it means. I'm so close here. I want the city to have 200% of everything. Roma's not even using power. But they're the closest. I could build a building here. Sanitation maybe if needed. You're going to Hamburg. You're going to Hamburg. Munich, we'll put you back on tech. You're going to LA. You're going to Bangalore. As my resident maple expert, is it weird if I put some maple on my pork that I'm using in my stir fry? No, not at all. As a marinade, absolutely very good as a marinade. Uh, maple syrup also very good in sauces. If you're making like a stir fry sauce, uh, the maple syrup is an incredible choice. Highly recommend. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Germany leading the world. Uh, the age of rocketry. The space race has begun. Build a Spache Center to be the first to set foot on the moon. New government and national spirits unlocked. Join international factions by changing governments. Faction governments. Space race. National spirits. Assault rifles, submachine guns, National Guard, submarines and destroyers. Oil refineries and apartment buildings. Ah, okay, so cool. So normally you don't get oil refineries. We got them a turn early. And I guess if you don't have Aether, the only thing is coal that you can turn into power. National temples require religion, produce ideology. Radio stations produce ideology. So we have a new thing, but not much in the way of buildings. This age introduces the Spache Rache. The Spache Rache is a mega project, a multi-turn effort to complete a major endeavor before other nations. In this case, you're racing to be the first to land on the moon. To join or start the race, complete a research to unlock the Space Center Capital Building and then build it. If in a variant age where the Space Center cannot be researched, it will be unlocked by taking a Space Agency National Spirit instead. Do I win if I get into the space? I don't know what to go. Age of Visitors, Age of Ecology... Age of Information. Social Fabric Half Tracks completed. Half completed. Oh, wow. That's really tricky. Surface to Air Missiles. Space Center. 0 0.05 bonus chance on success in the space race. I mean, I can definitely win the space race. There's no doubt about it. So we're probably going to go down that road. Wind farms and recycling centers. Commercial energy. Industry. Improved kitchens. Clothing factories. Jewelers. Performing arts centers. Sports stadiums. Film studios. So this is all just, yeah, continued upgrade lines. Shopping malls. Airports. Army size. Car manufacturers. Airlift, select friendly capital with an airport to be transported there instantly. Converts rare earth metals to computers. We didn't discover rare earth metals. Converts computers to data, making information. Oh my god. 
Computers to computer simulations. National Science Academy, limit one per nation. Aerial warfare, propeller fighters, airfields, propeller bombers, paratroopers, heavy machinery, machine shops, concrete plants, marinas, blast quarries, defensive manufacturers, and main battle tanks. And then finally, enterprise, banks, brain trusts for specialists. Increases the amount of bonus workers in your region. Okay. School district. Telephone. All right, well, let's go. We're going straight to space. More directives on each stage of the space race. National Aerospace Research Facility. Bonus chance on the space race. Research initiative generates one specialist per 10 production. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Knowledge each turn for a high construction cost. Calm satellites. Nine knowledge. Limit one per nation. Okay. Innovation and knowledge. Supersonic Lancer. Ultra fast aircraft. Launch a crew into space to complete a random mission for various rewards. Cool. Hey, that's me. Happy Thursday, dude. Looks like you like the game so far. How does the ugly old-fashioned UI and the popping battle screen bother you? I almost never see the popping battle screen. That being said, we're not really doing a military campaign. Uh, it does. It is something I would like to just be able to toggle off because, like, once you've seen it a few times, most of the time you don't want to watch it at all. So I'm pretty sure they're, they'll. I, I'd be really surprised if they didn't add the option to just toggle that animation screen off. It's not really a big deal. I don't mind the UI at all. I like the UI has been the big conversation of the day and the biggest complaint is like, oh, it's like big buttons and maybe looks like it could be used for mobile, but it's not really a problem. Like everything looks good. It feels good playing it. Countries are all the same and have no special units or abilities. Yeah, it's a bit, uh, they are kind of all, they could all just be anything, which is a bit lackluster. And the way that like city naming works means like you have all sorts of weird city names across the board. But it doesn't really take away from the gameplay loop. When I think about games like Civ, where all the leaders are different, it's cool, but at the same time, it can also be really annoying because sometimes like you get a leader and you get a start and you're like, oh, I'm, I'm boned. Like my faction relies entirely around being surrounded by forests and I'm, you know, on an island or something like that. Question for the streamer. Is there any time you would say you don't use maple syrup in something or are you obligated as a Canadian to promote it? Um, no, I'm not obligated as a Canadian to promote it. I just do think it's very tasty, so. Maple pork sausage, big thing. Yes, very good idea. Maple stir fry time. Thank you again, Brain Trust, to have a grand stream. Trust me, the maple syrup on the, in the stir fry is a very, very good. Replaces any sugar or honey you have to put in there. It's much better for you. Right-click the battles and notification to make them go away without viewing them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, I, I do want to just, like, take a quick look at all these. Destroy another town. That's it. It's just, you get a power that's just blow up a town. <laughs> VTOLs. Envoys can raise improvements. Special forces unit anywhere on land. Bombers get attacks. Water transport moves faster. Instantly kill all leaders in another army and damages all other units in the same army with a drone strike. Jeez. These are really good national spirits. All modern non-civic tile improvements get a second worker slot. Holy moly. Capitals produce their own power. Distribution center creates production and improvement points. I don't need improvement points, though. Rapid engineering increases production within the target region for four turns. High-speed expressway. I don't know. Does this actually improve your roads? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. It just looks like it gives you ideology. Subway. One max town level for regions and engineering XP. That'd be pretty good. 
Rare Earth Metal on 11 targets. Capitals now generate Rare Earth Metals. Computer Goods generate more knowledge. Computer Factories generate more computers. Computers turn into video games. Uh-oh. Computer Factory improves unrest suppression. Cheaper supercomputers. Computers give specialists. Get 5,000 wealth. Make more wealth. Gain interest wealth. Oh, that's very fun. Increase vassal prosperity, vassal population. Housing gives wealth, 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 wealth. Okay, that's not really an issue for me. Political science. Government XP and knowledge per alliance. Claim a neutral border tile and add it to a region. Annex. Relocates population from another nation's vassal to your nearest region. That's pretty funny. Assault rifles. All needs for all regions for 10 turns. I mean, this all sounds like stuff that I don't really need, right? Unrest. Oh, in another nation's region. Oh, I could just probably just read their things. Ideology generating political campaign project. poli -Sci can manipulate populations' needs and unrest of regions and become more powerful the more alliances they can make. Focuses on converting computer goods into new forms of knowledge, culture, and wealth. Huge boost to production, power, and improvement points. High cost, high reward, one-time buildings that permanently generate in permanently generate innovation and improve your chances at the space race. After landing on the moon, they can continue exploring space for sizable rewards. My only problem with this is like I don't get exploration XP very much. Media conglomerate can control the nation's citizens by reducing unrest, generating culture, and creating new forms of information. Arts XP work for media. Ideology, information, power drain. I might go media conglomerate, maybe. Produces unrest, unrest. Unrest. Mm, maybe not. Ideology and information from media goods. Well, maybe. Pop culture. A celebrity is born in your homeland for each ideal unlocked. Pop culture upgrades and produces clothing goods. It generates luxury culture and social fabric wildcards through the use of celebrity. Create fashion lines within friendly cities. Permanent innovation boosts. Clothing creates arts, XP, and culture. Unlocks a dance club. Arts, culture, power drain, ideology. Cultural movement action is twice as effective. Luxury consumerism. Transfer production to culture. I, I could definitely stay in a permanent golden age if I had a single city doing that. Disband celebrity for a social fabric point. This is a good, this is a hard one. Thanks for your opinion about the game. I love Civ, but I'm not sure about it. This is more of a Civ 3, 4 style than 5, 6. Yeah. <laughs> Play a video game within the video game. That's what I was hoping for. So many always click fast forward and close. Also, the animation with battle starts to annoy for me. Yeah, yeah. The, I, I think that the battle animation is something I very suspect they're going to put on a toggle. Most hated feature they did it because of call power. At some point, they'll cave and let you disable it. If you want exploration, I could spawn harbors or ports. Replace those non-fish farming tiles in Rome with them. That's true. I didn't really think of that. 21. 10. 18. 24. 37. 41 arts XP a turn.
I kind of feel like media conglomerate because it's a good way to get information from media goods. And the broadcast studio for ideology and information. But all this stuff about like unrest, <clears throat> I'm not really super interested in. Maybe I should just take space race. <laughs> I could build a lot of docks. Well, my housing problem is solved with these apartment buildings. Uh, the other thing we actually do have to look at is uh, governments. We can reform our government. Fundamentalist locked. No religion. Dominant world religion, as long as they succeed in this goal, they reap awesome benefits from buildings and improvements. Are we a democracy or a communist? Replace luxury with a large boost in production and ideology, allowing for speedy construction of high-level regions and towns. Democracy allows you to build up regional defenses and efficiencies, giving them time and space to generate knowledge to become a world power. Government XP. Ideology. Government XP based on total population, obviously huge. Bonus knowledge from research, computer, and simulation goods. Attack and defense bonuses. Regional ideology. Regional knowledge efficiency is increased. Okay, this is so far pretty good. Additional militia in all capitals. Generate knowledge in a target region for four turns. Research treaties increased. Communism. Mining towns generate extra production. Food and farm improvements get extra food and ideology. Remove luxury need and gain permanent regional efficiency bonus in each capital. I don't have a luxury problem. All right, we're going democracy for sure. Ain't no doubt. Can we afford to drop all that art XP? It's hard to say. I think I'll wait some time and watch others play. I bought Humankind when it came out. Still disappointed. It's more appealing than this, but that's just the look. A lot of people are are preferring this to Humankind from the the like the other creators I've been I've been reading on. Communism for the space race. Play the demo for a hundred hours. I'm poor. We'll see if I can afford the forty dollar game. Yeah. Soviet firm should be minus two food. Communism foiled again. We're going to boxy. OG achievement unlocked. Start a faction. All right. Factions. Corporate R&D. United we stand. Wealth. Gain bonuses for generating the most ideology in your faction and for being the faction with the most combined ideology. All right, well, I got a clear leg up on this. I also have an extra point here. Okay, uh, the other option, I guess it's going engineering, one of these two engineering choices. Computers would be good. This would keep us in the knowledge game. Modern improvements get an extra worker slot. Yeah, I don't really have a problem modernization. Like, we're already pretty modernized. 
I actually think Silicon Valley is the way to go here. Since we took democracy, it's thematic. I think it's our best advantages and it leans on like our high tech that we have right now as well. Then I can funnel the, less, the rest of my art into just making artists. Ideology. How do I make you? Good question. Tower crane, civil defense center, grocery store, executive offices, faction headquarters, five ideology, radio station, two ideology, plus two for being democratic. Is it only my capital who requires ideology? Yes. Ah, each unit in a population of a region above 30. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much everybody. Roma is somehow already generating ideology, but... Oh, because I upgraded this apartment building. How much power do you have? 29. All right. That'll help. Now I'm out of power. Where is all my power? Here we go. This is where it is. Go to Dusseldorf. Much better. All the power, all the oil is flowing into Dusseldorf. Okay, I got city guards who all need upgrades to national guards. I don't know I'm really on a rush for that. I'd almost rather save up and just start taking tenacity over and over again. Essen is idle. They kind of need some food, so I'm going to give them a grocery store. Do they have power? Yeah, they've got it. They've got Aether. Let us continue. Streamer needs to buy a turtleneck, though, to complete the look. If you think I don't own a turtleneck, let alone, like, four turtlenecks, <laughs> you are sadly mistaken. During this age, you can reform to a more modern government. Adopting any government from this age makes your member a faction associated with their style. All other nations that adopt the same government will be members of the same faction. Nations in the same faction receive a Diplo buff, while those of different factions have Diplo penalties. When you've adopted a government, you can click on this area, blah, 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 blah. Is Hamburg going to explode? Mm. No. But it definitely needs some love. Can we import bread? Tuna. We could do that. Give him some extra fish. Make a man happy with some extra fish. Uh, and then I think I'll just save up to spawn more artists. You guys need 150 to unlock anything. Let's keep cruising. Sure. 
Joining a faction introduces a need for ideology. Certain buildings provide you with the ability to generate this. Ideology you generate contributes to your regional needs, standing with your faction, and your standing within that faction. Combined ideology generated by all members goes towards unlocking faction bonuses, which are shared by member nations. When your faction has generated more ideology than other factions, it becomes the world's leading faction, and additional bonuses are gained. If you've contributed the most, you're considered the leader of the faction and receive additional bonuses. Well, we gotta unlock a lot to get this, but... I'm sure we will in time. Four turns. Okay, we're just going to reduce unrest here for now. Just to make sure that doesn't go upside down on me. Mm, yeah, pretty counts. I'm fine with that. slowly let everything grow I tell you I'd love it if in this regions it would show all this data I feel like there's a lot of open room here that I would love to see like some condensed version of this down even just the symbols actually like, if all of those symbols were there, and it could just be, you know, the plus, if you know it's, like, above 150%, or, like, white, normal, colored, without the plus, if we know it's below. I think that would be nice. I think that would be a good addition. Uh, I guess we're not clear-cutting or expanding our towns anymore. Not while Silicon Valley is up and running. We're pretty much just rushing to space. <laughs> be like, well, we're slightly ahead of everybody else on deck. We might as well just absolutely beeline to the moon. Now, I guess we're at war with Greece again. The United States has improved relations with us. Perhaps now they'd like an embassy. I doubt it, but maybe. We're generating rare earth metals in all the cities now. Oh, I guess you're kicked out of Olympia. And Pittsburgh. I wonder who went to war with who. Like, who threw the first stone? You guys are actually somehow short on food, which is really surprising. But you have that grocery store coming up. You have a trash heap. And you don't have room to actually build anything else. I'm just realizing you should have many more additional logging camps up here. This guy should also be missing a logging camp. So funny how I've just been like, oh yeah, I forgot to build all these things. I mean, like, I might as well be harvesting extra aether. It's not like more power is going to do me wrong. Uh, there was some conversation about building docks here as well. Not that I have any idea what to really do with them, but something. It's a little something, something. We need moon cheese to go with our maple syrup. Mmm, moon cheese. 
Um, all right, Stuttgart, you have like, you're making like wheat here, right? Yeah, so why don't we give you a mill to turn that wheat into flour and then give you a bakery. To turn that flour into bread. Uh, that's not a great idea. I'm seeing it now. You know what it'll do. If you just make a farm, does it do anything? Oh, I guess you can't just make a farm. All right. Uh, what else does Stuttgart have? Tobacco. It's a lot of iron. So we could give it a uh, blast furnace. Would help it out a lot. And then a shopping center. Since it's a Paradox game, it's likely they'll change many things in the next few months. Yeah, when are they come up with the first DLC? There's actually a couple of DLCs already announced, uh, including one for nuclear weapons, which is a little surprising. It's not in the base game. But like, you got to cut some things, I guess. I don't know, man. Why would you want an embassy with me? Perhaps because I am the strongest power in the world. Perhaps because I'm going to the moon, baby. What do these guys look like? National Guard. Unrest Suppression 16. They'll be fine. They'll be okay. It's really hard not to just to stay in a constant state of Golden Age. You guys have the Aether Harvester. I would love to be able to do something with all that Aether energy, but... Dusseldorf. Executive Office. Munich. Executive Office. Zhaozhang. Executive office. Essen. Radio station. God, Essen's got that 200% on everything right now. Take a nice shot of that. Nice shot of that. I've only been half watching at work. I like the parallel XP system. Going on here. It worked out well when Civ 6 split science and culture. And this goes further and really lets you specialize. Yeah, I really like it too. Like, I just... I haven't explored. So I don't have exploration XP, for example. Right? And what little I do, I'm just like... Oh, no, no, no. That's going towards... You know... Annexing new lands. Nothing else. We don't want to explore. We just want to build up Super Germany. Which, admittedly, is pretty big right now. Dude's just lost LA. Innovation! MMORPGs! The game developers of Germany have invented a pinnacle of the medium called the Massively Multiplayer Online Role-Playing Game. New digital communities can be fostered and explored in these games. 
Brazil warns us your forces are too close. Brazil, what are you going to do about it? Uh, hmm. I see my merchants are in trouble. Again. I should probably start using propaganda more often, but then again, I also have $25,000. So what am I really worried about? Stuttgart, you get an artist. Should I deploy you or should I upgrade you first? Luxury, production, wealth, culture versus luxury, production, wealth, culture, and arts XP. Okay, so I'm going to upgrade you first. You invented WoW. <laughs> yeah. DLC is already in the premium version. City selection for Age of Ancients. Atomic Age for big booms. How do we invent MMORPGs without having computers? <laughs> I'm not entirely certain, but I ain't gonna ask. Space time. It's time for space. Pretty sure I need to take computers. Stop all the downloading. That will be good. Happy's out. I don't want to be at war with you. This doesn't benefit me. Surface to air missiles. Upgrade my lookout to surface to air missiles. That's quite a jump. I like it, but it's quite a jump. We invented Meridian 59 or maybe EVE Online. Innovations are weighted, so if you have a spirit that wasn't spawned, an innovation will spawn that one. Can I rush culture for a golden age? Oh, I probably could. Persia! Damn, dudes. America's getting rolled by the Greeks right now. I get a culture bonus every four turns, which does mean I am now in a permanent golden age. I'm going to take tolerance here for diplomacy. I'm going to upgrade this guy to a grand master. Then put him in the city. Dusseldorf, Dusseldorf, Dusseldorf. Space Center. On build. Space Race Active Mega Project. Aether Rocketry. Okay. Persia's in the Age of Rocketry. They got here pretty fast. I'll give it to them. Stuttgart. Uh, your next thing is probably like museums and education. It's funny having to like go back now to like small towns and be like, what do you need from tier five to 10? Like, what, what am I going to start doing? Building sewers? Are you sure you don't just want computers? United States is sending you gifts. I bet they are. Persia has also become a democracy. They're not nearly as cool a democracy as I am, though.
Tenacity. Uh, you know, it's possible I could get the Age of Ecology. Oh, you need to have all six, though, at five. All right, it's not very likely. <laughs> Maybe I could go back and get some text that'll just give me wild cards as well. Uh, you guys are hurting on ideology even after building that radio station. Can't say I love that. Yeah. Surface to air missiles, space center. None of these things make ideology for me. This does a school district improvement. Defensive manufacturer. Not a lot of ways to get ideology, it looks like. Film studio. Okay, performing. It's all under here. We gotta rush that first. Otherwise, we're gonna just be taking penalties. Um, I'm going to take Congressional Halls, I think, first. You can make... Congressional Halls? <laughs> so much stuff. Nowhere to spend it. Nothing to spend it really on. I suppose as long as I have power, upgrading apartment buildings is good. It's kind of the impression that I get. Yeah, you guys are fine. You're actually at your population limit, and you know why? Because I haven't gotten you a town. And I haven't gotten you a town because it means I have to absorb a town next to me. Can I not pay for this even though it's two away? I'd, I'd love to just figure out how to pay for culture all the time because I have all this money. And if I could just pay for culture boosts, I would do it. 1880, we already invented MMO. Streamer is a gamer hero. Not so tall. Is it possible to win with a few cities? I think so uh, my goal was one city and then surrounded by smaller cities and it just so happens that all of those smaller cities kind of ended up growing to be the same size so it worked in a weird way but i've kind of been like actively not moving out too much from these as much as possible. Uh, you've got your trash heap already. You've got your apartment block. Triple logging camps. Let's just do a sawmill. Let's get you a saw pit. What is it called? Sawmill. Now this guy has like infinite production. Okay. We are for sure going to hit a crisis age really soon, but... Greetings, fellow humanoids. 
how is life on human planet? Olaf, how are you today? I just want to know how to get space. I don't even have computer factories. Is this even worth taking yet? Probably why not? Do I need to claim any territory? I feel like no. All of these forests are being worked right now. Even though there's nothing in them. So, like, I might as well just put logging camps in every single one. This hill is also being worked. I think Munich just got a massive boon. You can't import flour, can you? No. Not that you need to. Having a bad day with hell divers crashing upon extraction and therefore not completing any missions. Oof, on extraction is got to be the worst time. Uh, that's very frustrating. I know they just like fixed the the arc weapons were crashing people with electricity. But that's a huge pain. I don't like that one bit. We've unlocked the spot shave rache. You can click on an area to the left labeled from the Earth to the Moon to bring up the Space Race Mega Project. There are multiple stages of the Space Race shown by the track at the top. Options below this allow you to increase your chance for success at a cost or reduce them for a resource bonus. To attempt a stage, select Launch. If your attempt fails, you can try again. Uh, okay. Fund space exploration, 20%. Fund military, sure. Technology, final frontier. All right, launch. To space! Two, one, blast off! Our successful launch has proven the theory of orbitable mechanics. We have the technology to reach this new frontier. Oh my god. We crushed it. Our successful launch has proven the theory. We get 100 culture. Dudes, we're going to be on the moon in four turns. <laughs> Let's go. Straight to the moon, baby. That was the plan for today. I tried to get back into Dune. Spice Wars got stopped by the AI because I didn't know how many new features were introduced. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got, like, all new factions in it, too. You're waiting for your vacation to be over. Oh, you got to embrace that vacation. You're going into a long weekend, hopefully. Embrace it. Do not let it slip through your fingers. Dusseldorf. Congressional Halls. Yeah, you gotta enjoy every last every last moment you can get. Steal it all. Ah, oh, you're starting to miss work. Alright, I understand that. I get that vibe. Launch pad failure. Our recent test trials have a suboptimal outcomes. We need to investigate and design a new method for our space program. Well, let's just pay out the nose. Because we have a bajillion dollars. Hire additional computer staff. 
Invest in electronic computer machines. Three, two, one, launch! Our probes are sending back a lot of useful data, but our national pride is higher than ever. We're on the brink of sending our people among the stars. We're going to the moon, babies. Ain't nothing gonna stop us. Ain't nothing gonna slow us down. Nuh-uh. We got to keep on moving. Munich. Space Center. Zhajang, Space Center. Stuttgart, not a Space Center. What do you need? You have pretty much everything. University, I guess. Cologne? I'll take a conservatory. Everything I want to do besides gaming is done and gaming said no. At least you got the right colors for Super Earth already. Oh no, we're we're Germany. This is America. Actually, this is this this was America. This is Greece now. Egypt. Hello. I mean, I guess we are blue, technically. Test with animals. Yes, please. Hard code flight engine trajectory paths. Yes, please. Train pilots for onboard flight adjustments. Yes, please. Launch. Three, two, one. Let's go. Humans in space. We've done it. A live human has made it to space and returned safely to Earth. There's no reason to stop there. Nobody else has even <laughs> created orbital rocketry yet. Most people are still stuck in the Age of Aether. Which is a hell of a comedy right now for me. They're all still in like feudal monarchies too. Uh, we're going to make another artist. This is going to be a basic artist, so I'm just going to throw him into Stuttgart. As is. Bonus knowledge from research computers and research simulations. Boost regional ideology efficiencies. Regional knowledge efficiencies. Yeah, let's save up for that. I feel like we're just on, like, a rapid path to winning the game at the moment. Golden Age? <laughs> Yellow and black, the Holy Roman Empire. Yeah, we're classic, classic Germany. I gotta tell you, I don't love all the Aether on the map visually. I find it... To be a bit clogging. I imagine the particle effect is kind of tough on it too. Hard landing test with probes. Orbitable slingshot trajectories. Earth XP. Knowledge. Earth XP. I don't need any of that. Three, two, one. To the moon. That's one small step for Germany. One giant leap for Germany. We did it. We're first, first on the moon. 300 wealth. Successful moon landing. Unlocks SETI radio scan. Exploration cultural power. 230 knowledge. Okay, so we can just get like free Eurekas. <laughs> or... <laughs> Or we could just get more golden ages? Maybe? Maybe unlimited golden age? Oh, you guys are running out of power. That's not good. I'm going to have to take that oil back.
Uh, is that okay for Dusseldorf? Yeah, it could be better. All right, we're going to get this desert soon so I can build something there to, like, absorb the aether or, I don't know, something. We'll find some way to make power. So what do we do now that we're on the moon? Are there more things to do? It said we could keep exploring, I thought, after getting all the way to the moon. Magna Germania. Just absolute anarchy. Spain, Zulu, hello. So nice to meet you all. Oh, I don't love that this just stays here. Converts petroleum. Oh, hold on here. Oil refinery converts petroleum into fuel. Yeah, let's build that. Yeah. Das is a good idea. That solves my energy crisis. Doesn't solve many of my other crises, but... Commercial industry will help with that. We'll go back to computers. And then we'll make a push on these guys. Greece is warning me I'm too close to their borders. Yeah, because they devoured the entirety of America. That's probably good to think about. Dude, Spain is back in the Age of Enlightenment? Ooh, that's rough. That's real rough. I think Persia is my only real threat. Cool. All right. Well, with our success on landing to the moon, is there a fantasy element in this? There is a little bit, um, or there can be a little bit, depending on how the ages go. So we ended up in the age of Aether, which is like steampunk. And that added a little bit of a fantasy element. There is like the age of heroes, which is about like, you know, mythology, which is kind of fantastical if you think about it. Depending on how you look at it. It all depends. Maybe we should do one SETI radio scan. It's about, it's that about finding something out. We can do one on the next culture. Oh, yeah. Potentially something else, too. Okay, let's keep that in mind. But we're going to have to keep it in mind tomorrow. Because that's all the time I've got for today. And I feel pretty good leaving, uh, leaving us off on a little moon landing. Tomorrow, I suspect we should be able to beat this campaign. It seems like we, we must be extremely close to the end if we're in the age of rocketry. Uh, so we'll do a big push through tomorrow and we should be able to wrap it all up uh, even if we have to go a little bit long or a little bit short. I don't really know. But in the meantime, thank you for joining us for our second day looking at this big tall playthrough.